So the illegals come across the border. Uh -huh. The paperwork that they force ICE to fill out is to ask one question. Who are you voting for? No. no. Why did you come to America? And I gave you pictures of this. Why did you come to America? And all of <clears> them <throat> say, I came to get a job. And then they say, okay, if you're going to work in America, sign this piece of paper that says you promise to pay tax if you get a job. Uh -huh. You know what our government does? Gives them a social security number. Oh, yeah. Hang on. And a driver's license. Then they say you got to go get a driver's license. When the yeah. people go into the driver's license bureau, they get registered to vote. No, they get a driver's license. They go, I need an ID. They hand them a social security card. The person automatically thinks and does not cha uh, check if they're a real citizen. The government doesn't release the list of the people's names. They have merged motor voter. And what happens is that illegal literally gets a driver's license, automatically gets dropped into the voter file, and when the license shows up a week later, here comes the voter registration card. So the illegals come across the border. Uh -huh. The <clears throat> Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the whole free lake. I'm the brother Kaya from GMS Indianapolis, branch of Indiana. The other two in Indiana is uh, GMS It Will Not Terry 2, the original Gary camp, and um, GMS Bloomington 444, uh, the camp in uh, Bloomington. <clears throat> so I didn't fact check any of the things this guy just said, uh, particularly because um, for the purpose of prophecy, that don't really, really matter. Because this is what the Esau Edom is. This is the conversation that's being had. All right. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, this is his kingdom. So he pays attention to how it runs and how it, how it operates because it's not running and operating for his good anymore. It ain't running and operating for, um, <clears throat> for his betterment. So he really, he really looking, all right? And these are the conversations that they're having. Look, this, I guess this is the Roseanne Barr podcast, which, you know, she's famous, the Ro Rosie o, uh, was it Rosie O'Donnell? I don't know, Roseanne, right? The Roseanne show, comedian, whatever. She said something not too long ago, maybe some years ago, where they, you know, she was, uh, they was hot on her. So she kind of basically got blackballed to an extent. But now she got like whatever, this little uh, Alex Jones type of podcast. And you see this guy, look, you look at him. Look at this Edomite there, look at him talking. He threw, all right? So they paying attention to uh, their rights and um, their so-called rights being slowly taken away. And they paying attention to how they being, being pushed out, all right? But the scripture says, <clears throat> Second Ezra 9, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're measuring the time. How do you measure the time? The prophecies in the Bible said certain things was going to happen. And when you see these things happening in conjunction with other things, then you know Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is that much closer to his return. And one of the things that they said was what? That he said prophetically was what? All right. Uh, second Ezra 15. We can read both of these. Second Ezra 13 and 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. So basically straight up fighting. All right? Look in America. You got you got Democrats versus Republicans. You got pro-life versus pro-choice. You got men versus women. You got uh, 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 conservative lifestyle, liberal lifestyle. All right? You got all... There's a... There's division... In everything, you got these countries against each other, okay, uh, 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 Israel 
uh, uh, war with I uh, Iran and uh, Palestine and Yemen and the surrounding Arab neighbors. Okay, all these things, and then you might say, "Well, that that been going on, but to what end?" See, these things used to go on. I remember being younger and hearing about certain things, but they didn't. It didn't have this much traction because it didn't have this much force. See, the scripture says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, yet in the end it shall speak and not lie. So <clears throat> grab that Habakkuk 2. 2 and 3. For the vision is, is yet for an appointed time, verse 3. But as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 2. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. So the Bible is not plain, all right? It's not a plain book. You don't just pick it up, read it like a novel, okay? There has to be spiritually guided men to come and break it down to you in a way you can understand, okay? That's what it means to make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. So when you figure out what it's saying, Oh, that's what the Lord's talking about. Well, let me quit fucking around. Because all that Christianity shit and you other uh, Hebrew Israelites who basically got a, uh, uh, you, you basically Christians with a Hebrew Israelite twist, y'all fucking around. All right. Verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tear. Yeah, it seemed like it's, it's taking a long time. But once it, bu it happens, it's happening. All right? You see these hurricanes on top of everything else that's happening. So right, let me look up speak real quick. Because it says, for it says, for at the end it shall speak. So we at the end now. Uh, Pawach in the Hebrew. To breathe. Blow. To breathe. So what has breath? What has what does it mean to have breath? That means you alive. You have life. So now the vision is on the scene. The vision is alive now. It's happening in real time. It wasn't just something written down and spoken. All right. The prophecy is actually coming to fruition now. All right. To breathe out. Okay, let's see. In the um in the strongs, to blow with the breath or air, to utter, to kindle. So when you kindle something, that means you you it's you lighted a fire. So the vision is lit now. Okay, so that's enough on that. Uh second there's just fifteen and fourteen. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. And the so this they're talking about the inhabitants. Look, the inhabitants of the world is getting destroyed, man. It says, woe to the world. All right? You see that, 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 uh, what was it? A hurricane that wiped out all those sundown towns. Then the, then the hurricane Milton wearing people out. The brothers were safe. The Wadi Habashim Yaw Shai. Uh, on top of other things, man. It just said, woe to the world. It's just, it's, it's everything. It says, for the for the sword and their destruction drive nigh, so it's near, and it's in as many multiple different ways. It said the sword and their destruction. All right, Esau weaponized weather, the harp, the H, uh, you know. They weaponized it. You don't want to sell your land? We're gonna send a hurricane through there. <laughs> right? It says, and one people shall stand. Up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And you can see how that's being that fire is being stoked. Especially with, with uh they've been letting no migrants in, right? And not just the migrants, because they they style it as oh, there's this Latins, it's just the Latin countries. No, it's people it, it, India. They had a video not too long ago. There's a lot of East Indians coming. They was asking away from India, 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 right? Uh, uh, Asians, hell, you got a lot of, and then in a lot of these cities, you got a lot of Haitians, you got a lot of Africans, you got a lot of so uh, uh, so called non Americans, right? Different accents, you 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 out in the store in public, people speaking different languages. How you think Esau feel about that? How you think the so called white man feel about that? 
They tired of biting their damn tongue. You know what they want to say. You're in America. Speak English. You know they want to say that. So they getting, they fucking, you know, they frustrated. And to the point where it's, look, and they basically getting egged on, right? When you look at uh, the legislation and you look at the laws and you look at how this whole Trump Kamala thing, it's like, this is my opinion now, it's like they egging Esau to do something. It's egging them on to fight for their so-called rights, right? Anyway, verse 16, it says, for there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. And sedition is just uproars, uprising. You know, you, 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 you calling uh, people to, uh, to rebel. And these podcasts is basically a, a, like a pacifist way to call people to rebel. All right? Because you're giving them information that, uh, that they're not privy to. And then you, you inciting them. You know, you... Uh, initiating that, you know, that uh, you inflaming them, you know? <laughs> well, hell, you should be inflamed <laughs> once you realize how, uh, how your country fucking you over. <laughs> and then, you know, these different pockets, they take videos down. They, and see, they'll use that like they'll use that to um, curb freedom of speech. Because it's on the books. Um, when you look up American... I don't know if it was World War One, Two, but you got laws. It's called Espionage and Sedition Acts. All right, you look that up. Espionage and Sedition Acts. All right, so that that's already on the book. All right, and you can see how also, um, the scripture says there shall be a famine of the word. Let me grab that real quick. Amos. 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, which is going to be one, nor a thirst for water. It's going to be that too, but of hearing the words of Yahabashim Yahushai. And that's the worst. You ain't going to be able to hear the words of the Lord because we all use the same platform. All right. The, the, the media. We all we all basically like podcasts and talk shows or whatever in, 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 in you know, in a similar type of way. So as you see them shutting them down and, and correcting them and banning them, right? That's going to uh, uh, trickle down to the men of the Lord. All right? And what we doing? All right? So it says, uh, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Right now, now look at the, the kings and princes, basically the rulers. You can't regard them. You can't respect them because they all stay all in scandal. Right. And especially if you're a conservative type of individual. Come on. You got these your leaders. They 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 wearing eyeliner, lipstick. They they uh, they doing parodies where they where they dressing up as women. The men are and they kissing each other. Yeah. 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 Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. Rudy Giuliani. Dressed up as a woman, and they did like a little parody commercial or whatever, and Donald Trump kissed them, right? That's what your, that's what your, uh, Salakio, um, one second. That's what your kings and your princes are doing, man. Uh, uh Kamala Harris, that cackling hyena, that, uh, uh, laughing jackal, Right? How can you regard her and respect her and something she got going on? So it says, uh, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right, people just going to be looting. Because look, when all hell breaks loose, all hell break loose. The course of your actions stand in your power. That means whatever it is you feel like you're going to do and you need to do to protect you and yours, that's what you're going to do. It's going to be straight up lawlessness. Because that's where we that's where we're headed to. People losing faith in the government, et cetera. The government, <laughs> the government using control, the, the 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 sway that they had on to influence people's opinions, because govern mean control and meant mean mind. But they losing sway. All right, because you got too many opposing um 
uh, ideas. You got too many uh, uh, ideologies combating them, primarily the word of the Lord. So anyway, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakudash Shalom.